Ayala to Alave to jump for Wofford. Kate Johnson to jump in the center circle for Furman. Opening tap, and here we go. Wofford, the opening possession of the game, coming off a 19-point win last Saturday at Western Carolina. Team had a good balance offensively and defensively. 28 points in the paint, had 12 threes, four 17 turnovers, and had four block shots. Evangelia Polk rings the bell, and she scores the first points of the game. Ice inside, outside Clark. Hits a three, nothing but net by India Clark. And seven turnovers in the game. Wofford with a catch and shoot jumper by Schultz, and it's good. Annabelle Schultz. The team averages a league best 43 and a half rebounds per game. Turnover by Furman, it's eighth. Up the floor goes Polk, and she banks it in. Got it inside, that's been the, the difference in this game, just trying to go inside. Rose oh. count the basket oh. the foul. She had to work for that one. Gets her third basket. She has six points and a chance at a three-point play. Rose inside, outside Park. Hits another three. Yeah, Park. Rose flying to the basket. Thanks it in. Oh. Rebound Clark for Wofford and banks it in. What a great job by Clark. Gets back up. Here's Walters three. And rebound by Rose as she climbs the ladder for the rebound for Wofford. Walters sneaks inside, blocked away by Rose <laughs> and taken away by Rachel. Both have double doubles. Inside the park for the triple double. Yes, a triple double for Rachel Rose. Data hits a three. Everybody. Data. The final possession of the game. And the buzzer will sound, and that is it. And the Walker Terriers beat the Furman Paladins 69-51. 11 and 8, and 1 and 2 in SOCOM play. And Bob, your final thoughts on this one? Well, February 15th will be the rematch uh, in Greenville, and uh, that should be quite a contest here. When Walker comes in here, wasn't sure how they're going to do in this game, but uh, they came through it big time, especially in the second half, cutting down on the rebounds by Furman and, and uh, forcing turnovers and just doing an outstanding job both ends of the floor. And what can you say about Rachel Rose? Slow start, but she really picked it up in the fourth quarter. A triple-double. I don't know if we've seen that uh, this year, uh, at least not in the home game, but uh, just outstanding performance by that young lady. And that's going to wrap things up for us here today from Spartanburg. Final score for the final time. Wofford 69 and Furman 51.